Hey, what's up everybody? 8-Bit Flashback here. Today I'll show you how to make Sega Genesis reproductions using the Crix Flash Kit Programmer MD along with programmable Crix Flash Kit carts and aftermarket Sega Genesis cartridge shells. And I will also show a quick preview of an LED mod I've been working on for the Sega Genesis which lights up my translucent cartridges and my custom Sega logo. So I purchased my Krigs programmer, flash carts, and cartridge shells from multiple different vendors. And I'll make sure to post some links down below in the description. The flash carts run about $9 each, and the programmer is around $58. The flash carts are designed to fit inside a standard Sega Genesis cartridge shell. These are reprogrammable and can be flashed multiple times. And will work with most 4 megabyte or less Sega Genesis and Mega Drive games. And they'll also work with Sega 32X games, but the 32X hardware is required. Here's a look at the MD programmer inside a custom 3D printed case with custom stickers. You can use this programmer without a case, but I would recommend printing one if you have access to a 3D printer. The MD programmer is very simple to use and connects to your PC with a mini USB cable that is not included. Then after downloading a simple and easy to use program on your PC, you can read or write games to the flashcards in a matter of seconds. For cartridge shells, I prefer to use aftermarket replicas like this. I purchased these from Mord Off Games for around $5 each, and these come in multiple colors including standard black. I prefer the translucent cartridges because they have a nice custom look, and they look awesome with my LED mod on my Sega Genesis. Now let's go ahead and start building a game. So we're going to grab our flash cart and put that inside the cartridge shell with the main chips facing towards the front of the cartridge. This does come with some security screws, so you will need a special bit to put this together. And I'll make sure to post a link to this tool down below. And a couple things I'd like to mention about these cartridge shells. They look great, and I'd say that they are high quality. But with the screws, they are pretty tight. When you go to put this shell together, those screws are really hard to tighten down, so be prepared for that. So now my cartridge is assembled and ready to flash. So we're gonna plug this into my programmer like this, then plug that programmer into my PC and write whatever game I want to it. And I will show that process here in just a few. As far as labels go, I will have a part two to this video where I will show how to make labels with templates and printable sticker sheets. And here's a quick look at one of my finished reproduction cartridges with the LED mod. And here's some more details about the Krigs flash cards. These do not have any type of save game features. These are meant to be programmed with one game at a time and can be reflashed at any time with the MD programmer. However, if you're looking for flashcards that do support game saves, I did find some at Dragon Box called Dragon Drive. This is a four megabyte flashcard with SRAM and this is compatible with the MD programmer. And these run about $15. But for this video, we're just gonna be using the official Crix flashcards. To download the software for the MD programmer, that can be found at the Krigs.com store. And if I scroll down just a little bit here, we'll find the download. So I'm going to click on that. And then we're going to download the application, which is right here. So I'm going to click on that, then save that to my computer. And this is a very simple program to use. Once you download that, you just click on the icon, and that opens up the application. Now we're ready to go ahead and plug in our MD programmer. So the MD programmer plugs into the PC with a mini USB cable that is not included. So we'll go ahead and plug that into the back right here and plug the other end into the PC. And now it's time to go ahead and plug in my cartridge. And that cartridge will plug in with the front facing just like this. And it is a pretty tight fit, so you wanna make sure to hold that programmer in place when you're inserting or removing the cartridges. Now let's head back to that flash kit application and click on write ROM. And from here, we can search anywhere on our computer where we have Sega Genesis or Mega Drive ROMs stored. For compatible ROMs, I found that .bin and .md games work well, but they do need to be in an unzipped format. And I found a rare expensive game I'd like to try out. Let's go ahead and play Musha, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Once I've selected the game that I want to try, I click open, and that automatically starts writing it to the flash cart. And it will go through three stages. It will do a flash erase, flash write, and then flash verify. And it's all done. And it usually takes about 30 seconds or less. 
Now if I click on cart info, it's going to tell me what game is now loaded onto the flash cart. Now it's time to remove the flash cart from the programmer and test it with the Sega Genesis. Now let's power this up and if everything's gone well, we should have a new game. And it seems to be working great. Now these flash carts can be used for all different kinds of things. We can use these for reproductions, homebrew games, prototypes, ROM hacks, and more. And I find these amazingly easy to use and probably the easiest method for making a Sega Genesis reproduction. So we can also use the MD programmer to read cartridges. So here's an official Fantasy Star 3 cartridge. And now I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the MD programmer and open up that flash kit application on the PC. Now instead of clicking on write ROM, we're gonna click on read ROM. And now we have the option to save this ROM anywhere we choose on the PC. And once you do find a location, just click on that save button and it just takes a few seconds. After it's done, we should now have a ROM and the location we chose and that's going to be right here. So now I have this game that I can play in an emulator or I can use this to flash to another flash cart. So I've used these flash carts for quite a few different games. Here's an example of a ROM hack. This is Mortal Kombat 2 Unlimited. And I used the cartridge shell from a very cheap, defective Acclaim game. And I think it turned out great. And the flash cart fit inside no problem. And here's another game I made, Splatterhouse 2, using just a regular black Sega cartridge shell. And I will also have another video coming up showing you how to make some box art for the Sega Genesis game cases and where you can find some of those game cases at. And here's a couple different examples. The box on the right is the official one and the other two are imposters. But very good imposters. And inside this case I do have a reproduction of the game but it is a custom case with a custom label so it does look just a little bit different but it does work well with my Sega Genesis in the LED mod. So we'll put this in, power it up, and the cartridge glows well with my Sega Genesis logo. And I am able to change the color depending on what cartridge I'm using. I can go to a dark red, dark blue, dark green, and all kinds of other colors. And as I did mention earlier, you can flash 32X games to these flash carts, and I did figure out a way to make these flash carts work inside an official 32X cartridge case. But to make this work, you have to make mods to both the flash cart and the cartridge shell case. And I'll talk about this more in a future video, plus give you some other options on how you can make some 32X reproductions. So I've got all kinds of videos coming for the Sega Genesis. And one of the videos coming is going to be for the LED mods. And one of these mods is fairly easy to do. If you just want to make those translucent cartridges glow inside the cartridge slot, that's really easy to do actually. But to make the Sega Genesis logo glow, that's pretty involved. But I'm going to explain both of these in a future video. Okay, it's time for me to get out of here, but I'm going to leave you with some more previews of the LED mod, plus show just a little bit of gameplay footage. Have yourself a great day, and I'll see you next time. And if you like this video, if you could, hit that like button.